Welcome back class. This video is going to be a demonstration of how to draw the same grid that's on your photograph onto your piece of paper. I'm demonstrating this virtually or graphically on my computer, but again, you are to do this with the paper you were given, the pastel paper specifically, your ruler and a pencil. Please make sure you press lightly for every line because your grid will be erased eventually, although I will be covering that step um, repeatedly through this demo to make sure people don't make that mistake. Again, please not do this digitally. This is just a demonstration video. All right, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, here I have my red rectangle. That's going to be my piece of paper and then my ruler. My pencil will be this curse for all intents and purposes. So looking at the steps over here, I'm going to switch my color to red. The first step is to line up the zero to the edge of the paper and not the edge of your ruler. If you look, the edge of your ruler right here, if I were to line up the paper there, I'm going to leave, I'm going to end up leaving this space in between. It's a, you know, a couple centimeter space um, between the, the start of the measurement and the paper. You actually want to line up the ruler itself to the edge of the paper. So what you would do is, let me move my ruler, you would make sure your ruler is touching the very, the zero, I'm sorry, the zero is touching the edge of the paper. The zero is where your measurement begins, not the edge of the ruler. So once your, your paper and ruler look like this, you will then make a mark every one inch. So that's step two, make a mark every one inch. All right, so to do that, I am going to use my digital ruler to help me make these marks. And also just to note, every inch is marked by the large line above the number. So there's one inch, here's two inch, so forth and so on. It's very important to make your marks directly at the line, the mark of the measurement. So this gray bar is just my digital ruler to help me make straight lines. And you guys should be following along with me. And please feel free to pause this video at any time if you if I'm moving too fast or you um, are falling behind. So you can see I'm making a mark at that large line above each number. These are the one inch marks. I am going to slide my paper a bit. Sorry if this video makes you a little dizzy. I uh, am doing this. Oops, I have to do a lot of rotating and zooming in and out. Actually, let me zoom out a little further. All right, so I have four inches. Here's five inches. I'm trying to go through this video as fast as I can, as I believe simplicity is best. But unfortunately, this, this step of the project does have a handful of steps. So I got nine inches, 10 inches, and then my 11 inch mark ended up getting cut off a little bit, but it looks like my 11 inch mark is going to be about here. Okay. All right, sorry about that. The lights in my room like to turn off every so many minutes um, when I'm making these videos. So I've made the first row of marks uh, on my paper here, but if you look at the third step, it says slide your ruler down or in our case over so you can make another row of one inch marks. And the reason for that is if I were to take my ruler, I'm gonna try to grab my ruler here and rotate it, and I lined it up with with that mark, the ruler is touching the mark, but it's not a straight line. You need at least two lines to guarantee that the, um, the, the line is perfectly straight. So what I'm going to do is I am instead going to just slide my ruler over. And I can't, I got to zoom in just a little bit, guys, sorry, so I can line my ruler up to the edge of the paper. And if you guys already get the point, you can, of course, um, fast forward through this uh, little section here if you, you know exactly what to do here. But I am now going to make my second mark. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Switch my color to black. All right, so now I'm doing the same thing. Now my line might be slightly off because I'm zooming in out of my computer here. But the idea is that the second mark here does make a perfectly straight line for each row. And again, like I said, I would repeat over and over again, we are making sure that we are pressing very lightly. You just have a nice, light, loose hand. We are not pressing hard. The only lines we want to make darker than the grid are the lines that we're drawing for our portrait, so it stands out 
from the grid. And the good news is that other than drawing your grid today and just kind of starting the concept or starting the drawing of your portrait, there's nothing else to do. So the grid should be taking up the majority of your time today. All right, so I'm going to turn that off. I am going to move my ruler. Well, apparently I hid my ruler altogether. But now I have these marks here. And once I have the marks, all I need to do now is just connect them. So I'm going to connect my marks. This is going to guarantee a perfectly straight line. And I'm going to draw it edge to edge in the side of my paper. And even though my line is very dark, again, we are going to press lightly. You got it. I feel like Dora the Explorer when I'm talking to the video and waiting for the... Uh, invisible people on the other end of the TV to respond. So I'm going to keep going. So I didn't perfectly line up that mark there. You should make sure yours are perfectly lined up. I am just moving through the, the video for your convenience for, for time. And again, please feel free to pause or fast forward through sections of the video. If you, um, already understand this step or you don't want to watch me draw each and every individual line. All right, so now we have our first, uh, we have our rows here for your grid. Now what I want to do is I want to look at the next step. We just did step four where I lined up my ruler to both sets of one inch lines, which guaranteed the straight line. We're actually almost done. We then are going to repeat the steps above, so steps one through five, and we're going to make the lines vertically going up and down. And as always, of course, press lightly with your pencil because we're going to need to erase it. So let me get my ruler back here. I am going to rotate that. All right, and I'm going to move it. So just like before, I'm not lining up the edge of my ruler, but I'm lining up the, the zero to the edge of the paper. All right, so hit check. And then I'm gonna use my digital ruler to help me make these straight lines. If I can get this. Please make sure though, if you do decide to fast forward the video that you do look at, listen to the last minute or so, so you know how to label the grid properly. You're essentially labeling it um, the same as your grid on your photo, A through G, one through 11. So I'm moving that here. So every one inch. Just like before, we're gonna do this two times over. It is important not to rotate your ruler. You wanna just drag it straight down. Because if you rotate it, you can actually affect the spacing because as you note, or as you're about to see, this eight inch mark I'm about to make, there's a small gap between that and the edge of the paper. So that's why it's important not to uh, not to do that. Um, and I just realized I made the marks on the wrong side here. Let me redo that real quick. Sorry, everybody. Again, please fast forward if you understand these steps. I just made the marks on the wrong layer. I'm doing everything with my computer and mouse here. And with this program, I could very easily just draw my perfectly straight line because this ruler is set to be perfectly straight. Um, but I am drawing this the way you guys are drawing this. Because if you are doing this at home, I am going to do this with you. Now I am going to move my ruler down. Make sure your zero is lined up. It doesn't need, you can drag your ruler down to any point. Um, as long as you have the two marks, that's all that really matters. Let me get my ruler back in. I'm gonna make a mark every one inch so I can have my two set of marks. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Gillick count, count past five and six, he did it. Sorry guys, I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit. And there we go. There's my eight inches. I'm gonna turn my roller off. So now you have your last set of marks. Now all you do is you take your ruler, 
this gray bar is my digital ruler, and you're going to connect your points. I did not completely connect my points because I am rushing. Because this video is already taking longer than I had anticipated, longer than I thought it would. So your boxes should be perfect squares. If you are not drawing your grid to look like this, then that means when I grade you, you would not have followed the objectives. It would affect your overall grade. It would actually ultimately affect your drawing and the proportions and your likeness of your drawing. So here we have our box grid. And the last step will be to label it perfect. All right, so now you have your grid, and the last step is to label it. Um, you're going to first look at this box at the top left. I am coloring it in. Please do not color in your box. I'm just noting that you should not use that box and leave that blank. And what you're going to do is you're going to label this A. I'm try to get my stylus here so I can not write this like I have chicken's feet. You're going to label it A through G, A, B, C, D, E. F, G, and this little edge of your paper, you don't need to worry about that. Don't cut it off or anything, but you don't need to draw anything past the grid there. And then I'm going to label the left side 1 through 11, and this should be an exact match of your grid over your photo, and this will allow you to go on to the next step. And then 11's down there somewhere. So 11 is going to be just a, a, a portion of... Um, of the the inch measurement and that's fine because the only thing that's going to get cut off is like just the very trim of your your base of your torso um, but that is how you draw the grid on your paper uh, please make sure you've labeled it the same and you press lightly for all lines including your measurements because you will be erasing um, so if you haven't drawn your your grid yet in your paper just make, remind yourself to press lightly as you go all right um thank you for watching this video i look forward to seeing your grids um, looking perfect as they should and please make sure you watch the next video that's going to demonstrate how to use both your photo with the grid and your paper with the grid to uh, actually draw your portrait in near perfect likeness. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in a bit.